hello welcome to this video this video focuses on prostate enlargement or enlarged prostate which is also known as benign prostatic hyperplasia or benign prostatic hypertrophy or bph for short so in the video you will hear me use either bph or enlarged prostate interchangeably both refer to the same condition my name is Christiana Mousy Sairam and I'm a public health practitioner. So if a man has been diagnosed with enlarged prostate, what does it mean? Or BPH. Now, BPH simply is an age-associated prostate enlargement that causes urinary problems. And I'm sure you are wondering by now what actually causes this prostate enlargement the actual cause of prostate enlargement is not known however so far factors linked to aging and changes that occur in the cells of the testicle which you know subsequently results in a decline in the testosterone level that's the, uh, the male sex hormone these factors have been linked or have been associated with, you know, the growth of the enlargement of prostate gland. Now, there are other risk factors that increase a man's chances of developing an enlarged prostate as well. And there is a separate video on the risk factors that increase a man's chances of developing an enlarged prostate gland. Now, when a man, as a man grows older, the cells or the tissue in the testicle or the testis there is that reduction so there is loss of testicular tissue mass so the functional cells that used to produce the testosterone the male sex hormone they begin to reduce in number so the functional cells are being replaced with what scar tissue so the, the, the testes begin to shrink in size. So the, the loss of testicular mass causes the, 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 testi, the testes or testicle to atrophy, to shrink in size, to reduce in size. And as this happens, it means testosterone production, this hormone production, will also decline gradually as the man grows older. So these changes have been linked to, you know, affects the growth of the prostate thereby causing an enlargement of the prostate as a man grows older okay now in my previous video about how the prostate changes as a man grows older i mentioned that the prostate grows literally throughout a man's life and the first period of growth starts early in puberty around 12 to 16 years the second phase of growth starts by age 25 and then it continues throughout most of the man's life so enlarged prostate gland or benign prostatic hyperplasia bph commonly occurs among men who are between 50s to 60s more than 50 percent of men between 50 to 60 years show begin to show symptoms of enlarged prostate gland they begin to feel that their urine stream slows down, they strain to urinate, and so forth. There is a separate video on the specific symptoms, so I don't want to dwell so much on the symptoms. Now, men who are 70 years and above, more than 90% of them show symptoms of enlarged prostate gland. And you know, I mentioned in my previous video that uh, some prostates grow faster than others. So based on this, some men are likely to experience symptoms of enlarged prostate gland whilst in their 40s. So that is possible. It's rare to see, you know, uh, men who are in their 20s to experience or below 40 to experience, uh, you know, enlarged prostate gland. It is rare. However, there is some probability there. There's a small probability there. Okay. So now, as the prostate gland grows bigger, 
as it enlarges. Let's look at this picture. So this picture, this one is showing us the urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder. And what the structure here is one of the seminal vesicles. And then the round structure here is the prostate gland. So this picture is actually showing us the normal prostate gland. This is the prostate gland. And the tube, you can see that black line. That's the urethra. That's the tube through which that drains urine from the bladder through the penis to the outside. So the men urinate through the blood, uh, the urethra. Now, because of the position of the prostate gland. So let's go to the next picture. This picture is showing us an enlarged prostate gland or benign prostatic hyperplasia. So in this case, this is a normal situation. You can see that the urethra is patent. The tube is patent. It's open and there is free flow of urine. This is urine in the bladder. The, the, the colored substance you can see here, the yellowish substance. Now, in this case, in the second picture, where there is enlargement of the prostate gland, you will notice that the, the, the tube or the urethra cannot be clearly seen because the growing prostate gland squeezes on the urethra, the tube. So when this happens, it causes narrowing of the tube or in some cases, depending on how big the prostate gland has enlarged, it could lead to total blockage of the tube. So if this happens, the bladder at a point becomes tired of trying to pass urine through the blockage or through the narrowed urethra or the tube. So at a point or eventually, the bladder gets weaker. And when the bladder gets weakened, it, it leads to what? Urine retention. So the man will not be able to pass urine because the enlarged prostate gland has squeezed on the tube which is supposed to drain the urine out. So the, you can see the arrow here. The urine is retained in the bladder. And this can cause very severe pains to the man. If you pay attention to you will notice that when you look at the normal picture, you will notice that there is a small tube here that joins the seminal vesicle to the urethra. That's the ejaculatory duct. So when when this can this means what? It will be difficult for this uh, the seminal vesicle to also add seminal fluid to the sperms for them to be ejaculated. So this can cause pain. During ejaculation or after ejaculation, the man can have pain as well. And I'll talk more about this in, in, when I'm, in the next video, which talks about the symptoms. So this can be very painful. So you, typically, you'll notice that the symptoms that are associated with uh, enlarged prostate gland, they occur as a result of the blockage of the urethra or the tube that drains urine, and then the overwork overworked urinary bladder which has led to urine retention so more the symptoms are centered around those changes that have occurred so basically that is enlarged prostate gland the next video as i said will focus on only the symptoms the specific symptoms that a man will experience as his prostate gets enlarged so thank you and please share with your friends and families. Bye.